Tattooed Luna by Mrs. Smith. Chapter 11. I need the ink. What colors? He asked. Each pile gets a black. The second one gets three. Alec did as I asked. The fourth is a watercolor tattoo so I need one pink, purple, blue, green and yellow. This one is red and orange. Four tattoos today? Alex asked. Yeah, they are all big tattoos and not much pain tolerance. Mine is itching like crazy. Turn around and lift your shirt up. I said rolling my eyes. Grabbing the numbing lotion, I put it on his back. He even keeled for me but I caught him looking at me in the mirror. What? Nothing. Not wanting to push it more, I finished up, threw the glove away and went over to my desk. Stencils were ready and I had fifteen minutes to spare so I pulled out my sketchbook. Alec walked over and looked at my phoenix. That looks amazing. Thanks. He took the book and flipped through it. While he looked, I remembered I needed to send spelling bee words. Sending the link to the words I had picked out was easy enough. The evening pasted slow with Alec looking over me and the guys I was tattooing not having a pain tolerance. I just needed one more hour to finish and he had to schedule for another day. I swear, guys are huge babies when it comes to pain. Alec looked bored in the corner of the room. He watched me work for the most part or texted on his phone. Part of me wanted to know who he was texting but it was also none of my business. After the last guy left, it was nice to lock the door and take a deep breath. Finally, all day and I was ready for bed. Done? Alec asked as he watched me put gloves on and start to clean up. Yeah, just need to clean up and balance my books. Throwing away the sharps in an approved container, everything else went in the trash. The reusable items went into the sterilizer. Then just had to disinfect it all. Alec just watched me work. Occasionally I flinched but it wasn't anything I needed help on. Does Luna and hit you? Alec asked me randomly. My whole body froze. Shit. He probably already knew the answer but wanted to hear me say it. Doesn't matter. I won't be around much longer. What do you mean? Once I'm 18, I'm leaving and traveling until Colt takes over. Then I'll come back. Why doesn't Colt stop her or your dad? Colt has done more for me than anyone else. He has been there and does what he can. It's not like he can be around me 24-7 plus it's not like I can't handle a bruise or a split lip. I sighed as I sat in my chair to finish my book work. Alec came over and stood at my desk. Where do you want to go? Glancing at him, I was taken aback. Anywhere, everywhere. Anywhere that isn't here. How will you keep tattooing? Suppose I'll have to put that on hold. What about a mate? You sure have a lot of questions. I muttered, tired of the third degree. Just curious well, when I find him, I'll ask him. Knock. Knock. Looking over, Colt was standing at the door. Alec went over and opening it. Alec. Colt said as he walked in. Colt. They didn't measure each other's dicks but they were close. What's up bro? Just checking in on you. He came over and looked at what I was working on. Doing good. It's going to be a good month. Good, that will make it easier for you. Easier for her? Alec asked confused. For when I start traveling. If I am cut off, I have my own money to live off of. I answered not really caring if he knew. You're okay with her leaving? Alec asked Colt. Fuck no, but I'd rather her not get abused anymore either.